cell. Introduction It is now known that a single cell may constitute a whole organism as in amoeba, paramecium and bacteria. These organisms are called unicellular organisms. Uni meaning single. On the other hand, many cells group together in a single body and assume different functions in it to form various body parts in multicellular organisms. Multi meaning many, such as some fungi, plants and animals. Every multicellular organism has come from a single cell. Some organisms can also have cells of different kinds. Unicellular and multicellular organisms The human body has a heart to pump blood, a stomach to digest food and so on. Similarly, division of labour is also seen within a single cell. In fact, each such cell has got certain specific components within it known as cell organelles. Each kind of cell organelle performs a special function such as making new material in the cell, clearing up the waste material from the cell and so on. A cell is able to live and perform all its functions because of these organelles. These organelles together constitute the basic unit called the cell. Cell wall A cell wall is a tough, flexible and sometimes fairly rigid layer that surrounds some types of cells. It is located outside the cell membrane and provides these cells with structural support and protection and also acts as a filtering mechanism. A major function of the cell wall is to act as a pressure vessel, preventing the overexpansion when water enters the cell. They are found in plants, bacteria, fungi, algae and some archaea. Animals and protozoa do not have cell walls.